Northwest in Seattle this weekend. Fresh Jess has your answers. Fashion and lifestyle blogger Jess Estrada is back with us with a look at what's trendy and trending, what's happening <laughs> around town. And we're going to start with what's happening at Urbane. So, you know, it's holiday time. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are drinking their cocktails. Mm -hmm. So if you like that and you like restaurants in Seattle, this is kind of a nice a nice place to go, right? Exactly. Um, my husband and I actually did a staycation last week. Um, we stayed at the Olive 8. Yep. And so we ate at Urbane and then hung out. Did you go the, to the spa? Of course, mm -hmm. which is nice beautiful spa. if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, all of it is just great if you have family visiting or if you want a staycation in town. But the cocktails at Urbane were amazing. I had the hot buttered rum and it was delicious. We tried all of the bar food um, and I can't complain. I liked everything. So it's not like the greasy bar food you might get. No, it's they upscale bar food. They actually have a new chef, uh, Chef Thomas, and he has really elevated that menu. So Some it's great. Cool. Urbane, yeah. I'll remember that. Yeah. Vanishing Seattle pop up at eighth generation. Yeah, so 8th Generation is a Native American um, artist um, store in Pike Place Market, not far from where the Daily Donuts are. Uh, and Vanishing Seattle is a social media project um, to highlight all of the businesses that are um, either going out of business or being torn down. And so 8th Generation and Vanishing Seattle have partnered to show uh, some of these iconic um, Seattle institutions that are no longer with us. So Interesting. if you want a really great piece of Seattle history, um, that's a really great exhibit and it'll be around till Christmas Eve. Interesting. Cool. There's also a workshop that I, I would love to do this <laughs> workshop because it's a it's a addressing uh, envelopes, mm -hmm. you know, for your holiday cards. Oh. You know, knowing how to, I, I always admire when those cards come into the mail. I know. The ones that have like the perfect writing. They're memorable. They're just, sure. exactly. I just sit there and go, oh, I don't even want to rip up the envelope. But I want to learn how to do that. Exactly. It's, so, so it's an art, right? Exactly. So Songbird Papery is doing a workshop at Constellation Co. this weekend. Um, and I think it's a really great craft workshop that you can take with you for the rest of the year. So anytime that you have to send a letter, you can make it really pretty. And sure. there's so many craft workshops going on that during the holiday season. And I thought this one was really special. Mm -hmm. So there's a pop-up dinner at Happy Grillmore, mm -hmm. right? Tell us about what that is. So if you, if you haven't been to Happy Grillmore, they have some pretty amazing burgers. And they're owned by a fabulous couple. Um, they're actually partnering with some chefs in the city to do um, a pop-up dinner called Pidot, which is Ilocano, uh, Filipino, for eating with your fingers. Oh. So it's a full. Um, Filipino spread that you'll eat with your hands. So it's a really, really immersive cultural experience. And I think it's really cool. There's so many pop-up dinners. I think I've mentioned some before. Nice. Um, Where is Happy Grill More? Where are they? Happy Grill More is right, um, it's off of 12th, um, right by Seattle U and Babar. Okay, okay. So right on Capitol Hill. Oh yeah, right, right on Capitol Hill. Okay. Hmm? Gotcha. Right so if you've never done that before, it's kind of a great way to experience yeah, okay. Filipino food. Something Filipino new. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you can find all of these events on FreshJess.com. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Jess. We'll see Thank you. Thank you. Jess Estrada, everybody. Have fun. Thank you. On this weekend.